Hey, there's another video right now. Welcome everybody to another video. Yay! It's like what, third video now? Today I will be showing my setup, telling the history how I got all the things, and we will figure out the price of the entire setup and see if it was really worth it. Now there's gonna be a money counter on the left bottom corner that is gonna start with zero. In the end, it's gonna show a total amount of money that I've spent on the entire setup. It is gonna be in rough prices because of course I do not remember the prices exactly to a single cent. All right, let's get to the setup review. By the way, this entire setup is gonna be recorded on my iPhone because I want my camera to be right here. So that's how my setup looks like from afar. It does look pretty neat, pretty insane in terms of cable. Oh my God, that is an insane amount of cable. Not as bad down here though, unless you check out this cable management that I got, but at least there's nothing on the floor. So that's great, except for the dust. I'll vacuum that later. Anyhow, before I came to this setup, my setup used to look like this. That's how my setup looked like in 2017. It did look all right, but it missed a lot of stuff that I have now. And let's start with the most important stuff for Osu, which is the keyboard and the tablet. I don't think it's gonna be hard for you to realize what kind of tablet that is. That is the Wacom CTH460, the one that I bought in 2019. I overpaid a lot for this tablet. I paid 120 bucks for this specific tablet. I bought it on eBay from Japan. Will I say that I regret buying it? Absolutely not. This tablet is amazing. Now for the keyboard, I bought it used from another Osu player, another Estonian Osu player, Chris, my boy, sold me this keyboard about four years ago and I've been using it since then. This is Cooler Master Master Keys Pro M with Cherry Mix Red Switches. Now the price I paid for this keyboard is around 70 bucks. Moving on to the monitor. The monitor is some kind of Samsung, I to be honest, do not remember what kind of monitor that is. The only thing that I remember, it was literally the cheapest 144Hz monitor at the time. Price of this monitor was around $150. It's alright, I mean it is 144Hz, but I really want to upgrade this one in the near future. Now the second monitor is the monitor that you can see me recording from up the camera. Now I've been using this monitor for around 10 years now. Now price of this monitor is around 60 bucks when I bought it. It was a really long time ago, but it has all the features that I need. So as a second monitor, it is pretty good. Also, yeah, it is pretty cringe recording on iPhone after that. Now, next two things that I bought really long time ago are the camera. This is Logitech C922 and this is Logitech C920. I've been using this as my face camera for four years in total until I replaced it with this camera, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Now this camera I've been using as a hand camera for a really long time. Literally any stream that you've seen me use a hand camera, it is recorded on this camera. Now price of this both cameras combined is 120 euros. I bought both of these for 60 euros in 2019. So I'd say I paid a fair price for these cameras. Now moving on to the big boy, my PC. Now this PC is not the original PC I've been having. I've been rocking a different one. The one that Noita Kuningas gifted me really long time ago. So big thanks to Noita Kuningas. He bought me my first ever PC and I wouldn't be here without his help. But this PC in particular is running my old 1060 with six gigs from Nvidia. This is probably the only original part from my old PC that I saved, except for the hard drive. Now for the CPU, this PC is rocking AMD Ryzen 5 3600, not X because I do not need to boost it. We got 16 gigs of RAM, a good cooler, Corsair power supply. Basically this PC is pretty good. In the end, this PC cost me around a thousand dollars excluding the GPU that I saved from my old PC. I really see no reason in upgrading this keyboard because I've been using it for about three years now and I see no problem with rocking such old gear because this PC can run all the games I need which is Osu, some single player games, and I even played Cyberpunk on this PC, so I really don't think that this PC is really all that bad, despite its age. Now on top of my PC is the PS3. It is not actually mine, I borrowed it from my friend because I wanted to replay The Last of Us, one of my favorite games of all time. I really wanted to stream me playing this game, but there is a thing that Sony blocks all the output from the PS3 to the capture card, so I have to buy a HDMI splitter which I just couldn't find, so that's a bummer. Moving on to my headset and mouse. Logitech G Pro Wireless. One of the best mice I've ever tried. It literally fits perfect for my hand. 
Right now it's charging, of course it is wireless and I'm using it wireless most of the time. Also, please ignore how dirty my mouse pad is. This is gamer mouse pad, okay? I do not clean it. And then we have Sennheiser HD 559. I literally picked this headset because BTMC was using it in 2019. So I decided, well, if BTMC is using this, I must be using it too. I was such a BTMC sim back in the day. The mice was free by the way, my friend gifted it, so no price there. The headphones were about 90 euros. I bought them for 90 euros from Amazon and I do not regret it. Literally the best headphones I had. And moving on to the microphone, the one that I'm using right now, maybe. If I don't like the microphone of my camera or iPhone camera, then I'm gonna be using this microphone. It is recording my voice right now. So maybe you're gonna hear this microphone or you're gonna hear this microphone. I don't know which one I picked, but I'm gonna let you know how it sounds anyway. Right now you're listening to the microphone of Shure SM7B. And right now you're listening to microphone of iPhone XS. Which one you like more? Tell me and I will try to use them a little bit more often. Now, as you heard, this is Shure SM7B, legendary microphone that all streamers use because it is literally the best sounding microphone out there for a really big price. It was around 400 euros for me. I do not regret buying it. I wanted a really good sound. I got a really good sound. This microphone is connected to my Elgato mic arm. That is literally the best mic arm I've had. It moves really well. As you can see on stream, I'm literally moving it every time. I recommend it out of all the other mic arms. It is literally exactly the same price, but it packs in so much more features and it's just more comfortable and uh, good looking. Now this microphone is also connected to my audio mixer. This is Audient ID14 Mark 1. Really good audio mixer, really like it using all gain for my microphone. I paid around 90 euros for this audio mixer. Definitely worth it. Again, all this stuff that I buy, I am telling that it's worth it because, because I make a lot of research before purchasing something. And most of the stuff that I have bought here are definitely worth it because I have done the research and I have bought literally the best thing that you can buy for the amount of money I had. Now the next big boy, the camera. This is my most recent purchase, Sony A5100. It is connected to the Elgato capture card, HD60S. I bought it for 75 euros. Good capture card, recommend. But the camera is the main thing. I purchased this camera for 450 euros and I do not regret a single cent spent on that camera. Even though I'm literally saving up on my food this month, but this camera was really worth it. Only because of this camera, I started recording much more vlogs and videos in general. So. Thanks to this camera, you're welcome. I'm not gonna talk a lot about this camera because I will make a separate review of that camera and is it worth it in 2022 because there are better ones out there and you cannot buy this one. And of course, my light. You can't see much because it is cranked up to like 40% of brightness. But this is Elgato Key Light Air because I'm poor. It cost me 120 euros. It is literally set perfect, as perfect as you can get. And uh, only because of that, you can see that my face doesn't look dark anymore. Because without the key light, it would look like this. Pretty dark, right? I control this camera through my PC. I really love this feature. I can just turn off the light, turn on the light, control the coldness of the light, and of course the brightness. Again, I do not regret buying it. I wanted a good light, I got a good light. Some miscellaneous stuff is, for example, a CD card reader that I bought for the camera because I bought a 256 gig SD card. It's the one that I almost lost in the beginning of the video. And that is pretty much it about my setup. Wow, $2,935. Now that's a lot of money. I didn't expect my setup to be that expensive. I was more thinking about $2,000. But if it is that expensive, like as I said many times, I do not regret buying anything of that. The setup is, as usual, most of the setups, just a big overkill. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will be hoping to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.